Hello and welcome to Vida Day 10. I got my tragus pierced today. I like it, I like it a lot. That was going to be today's video, but I got too scared to ask if I could film it in case the lady thought I was weird, so... Sorry. <laughs> so instead, I'm going to make a video off the top of my head. Again. Sorry. <laughs> At Christmas 2013, I got this book in my stocking from Santa. It's called The Happiness Project. It's a one sentence journal by Gretchen Rubin. Basically what it is, is you fill out a sentence each day for five years and then each year when that same day comes around you can look back and see what it was you were doing or feeling on that day. There's also little quotes at the top of each day. Now as you can see, since these pages are blank, I wasn't very good at filling out this diary. So when I was moving house, I found it again and I thought, I'm going to give this a go. So since July 15th, so nearly a month, I've been filling this diary out. I also have this diary, which I write in whenever I feel like it. What I've noticed is whenever I go through a rough period in my life or something big changes, I want to write about it. I feel like writing in a diary, whether it's one sentence or five pages, is a really good way of managing your feelings and getting them out. I feel like all too often these days people bottle up their feelings or explode them onto their friends. And yes, your friends are there for helping you through rough times, but your friends shouldn't be a daily diary of what's going wrong in your life. Because quite frankly, that can be draining on your friends as well. I think it's important to be asking yourself for the answers and not asking someone else for them. And I think writing a diary is a good way of doing that because you're really exploring your own thoughts and it's almost like you're writing to yourself. So you're kind of asking yourself for a solution and it sort of makes you work it out for yourself. Also recently I found myself kind of grasping to document my life a bit more. I don't know what it is but I suddenly have this fear that I'm going to forget everything that happened. So I've started writing everything down and writing this diary again and writing in my big diary again and I've started making these videos which I guess are kind of like an online diary of this month and it's like I want to document what's happening right now because I feel like my memory isn't good enough to remember all these great times that I've had with people. So I guess I would sort of strongly encourage anyone who's watching this video to start documenting things and writing things down and writing to themselves and exploding their thoughts in that way if that is what's right for them, whether it's making videos or writing in a diary. I think it is quite important. This video wasn't scripted at all and I can tell that it's really messy. It's really just off the top of my head and I'm really sorry. So advice to you if you're starting to write a diary just write down the mess that's in your head. It doesn't matter if it's not incorrect sentences. Take paragraph breaks every sentence if that makes you feel better. Just try and get down whatever it is you're feeling. It really doesn't matter what it looks like. It doesn't matter if your handwriting's bad. It doesn't matter if your spelling is crap. Just do it. It really does help to get it out. I hope somehow I can stick all this crap that I've just spoke together and somehow make a video. I hope you had a great day. And thanks for watching Vida.